planning to visit Europe but confused about the Schengen visa process? Stay tuned as we demystify the entire process for you. The Schengen visa, a document that allows you to traverse freely in the Schengen area, is crucial for Indian travelers planning to visit Europe. This video will break down the entire process into easy-to-follow steps, ensuring you're well prepared for your journey. Ready to embark on your European adventure? Let's dive into the process. First things first, are you eligible to apply for a Schengen visa? Let's delve into the basic eligibility criteria. To apply for a Schengen visa, you must be a bona fide traveler, meaning your intention to visit the Schengen area must be genuine. You should also have sufficient financial means to support yourself throughout your stay. The Schengen area, for those who may not be familiar, is a zone comprising 26 European countries. These countries have abolished passport and other types of border control at their mutual borders. They include popular destinations like France, Germany, Italy, Spain and the Netherlands, among others. With a Schengen visa, you can travel freely within these countries without the need for multiple visas. Just imagine the convenience of exploring the Eiffel Tower in Paris one day and the Colosseum in Rome the next, all on a single visa. Now, it's also important to note that the purpose of your visit should fall under the categories allowed by a Schengen visa. These include tourism, business, visiting family or friends, cultural or sports events, and official visits. Keep in mind that each Schengen country may have its specific requirements and it's crucial to check these before applying. Now that you know if you're eligible, let's move on to the documents you'll need. Gather your documents. It's preparation time. To apply for a Schengen visa, you'll need a specific set of documents, each playing a crucial role in the approval process. So let's dive into the details. First and foremost, you'll need your passport. This should be valid for at least three months beyond your planned departure from the Schengen area. Make sure it has at least two blank pages for the visa stamp and was issued within the last 10 years. Secondly, you'll need travel insurance. This should cover any expenses that might arise due to sudden illness or injury. The minimum coverage should be 30,000 euros and it must be valid for all Schengen countries. Next up, you'll require a flight itinerary. This doesn't mean you have to purchase a ticket before getting your visa. It's simply a document that shows your travel dates, flight numbers and points of entry and exit from the Schengen area. Then comes proof of accommodation. This could be a hotel booking, a rental agreement or a letter of invitation if you're staying with friends or family. It needs to cover your entire stay in the Schengen area. You'll also need proof of your civil status. This could be your marriage certificate, your child's birth certificate or any other document that proves your current civil status. Next, you must provide proof of sufficient financial means to support your stay. This could be bank statements from the past six months, a sponsorship letter if someone else is financing your trip or proof of prepaid accommodation and travel activities. Lastly, a cover letter is required stating the purpose of your visit, the countries you plan to visit, and your planned itinerary. This gives the authorities a clear understanding of your intentions. Remember, all these documents must be presented in their original form along with a copy. Some documents may need to be translated and notarized, depending on the specific requirements of the country you're applying to. With your documents ready, you are one step closer to your European dream. Now, let's fill out the application form. The application form is your first step to a successful Schengen visa application. It's crucial to fill it out accurately and honestly. So let's break it down section by section. Start with your personal information. This includes your full name as it appears on your passport and your date of birth. Make sure to write your name in the same order as it is written in your passport. Next, fill in your nationality, place of birth and current address. The form will then ask for your marital status and the details of your spouse, if applicable. Be sure to provide accurate information as any discrepancies can lead to delays or rejection of your visa application. 
Next, you'll need to provide your occupation and employer details. If you're a student, include the name and address of your institution. If you're self-employed, provide your business details. The next section is about your passport information. Include the type of passport, its number, issuance and expiry date, and issuing authority. Make sure all the details match exactly with what's on your passport. You'll then provide your travel information. This includes your main destination, the first Schengen country you plan to enter, and the duration of your stay. Remember, the main destination is the country where you plan to spend the most time during your trip. The form will also ask about your travel and accommodation arrangements like flight bookings and hotel reservations. You don't need to have a fully confirmed plan, but you'll need to show a clear intent of travel with tentative bookings. Next, talk about your previous Schengen visas. If you've had any and any entries and exits from Schengen countries in the past three years, Finally, you'll need to provide information about your health insurance. It's mandatory to have travel insurance that covers at least 30,000 euros for any medical expenses in the Schengen area. Once you've filled all the sections, double-check everything. Take your time and ensure all details are accurate and truthful. Remember, honesty is the best policy when it comes to visa applications. Any attempt to provide false information can lead to visa rejection and even a ban from future applications. Once you've filled out the form, it's time to book your visa appointment. The next step is to book your visa appointment. And here's how you do it. First things first, you'll need to head to the official online portal of the respective embassy or consulate. This is where you'll find the option to book your appointment. It's a pretty straightforward process. You'll be asked to enter your personal details, choose a convenient date, and time for your appointment, and then confirm your booking. Be sure to double-check all the information you've entered. You don't want any hiccups at this stage. Now let's talk about timing. You might be tempted to leave booking your appointment to the last minute, but that's a risky move. Embassies and consulates can be incredibly busy, and you may find that the next available appointment is weeks or even months away. So, it's crucial to book your visa appointment well in advance. Think about it this way. You wouldn't leave booking your flight or hotel until the last minute, would you? Your visa appointment should be no different. Moreover, remember that your travel insurance must be valid from the date of your appointment, not your travel date. So, it's in your best interest to get this step out of the way as early as possible. But what if something comes up and you need to reschedule? Don't worry. Most embassies and consulates allow you to reschedule your appointment, although there might be a limit on the number of times you can do this. With your appointment booked, you're almost there. You're one step closer to embarking on your Schengen adventure. The final step is the visa interview. This is where the rubber meets the road, folks. Preparation is key here, and your confidence will be your greatest ally. Let's dive into some tips to help you excel. Firstly, be punctual. Arriving late can give the wrong impression, so aim to be there at least 15 minutes early. Secondly, dress appropriately. A neat, professional appearance can help set the right tone for the interview. Now, let's talk about the questions. The interviewer will likely ask about your travel plans. Be ready to provide a clear itinerary, including your purpose for traveling, how long you plan to stay, and where you'll be staying. Another common question is about your financial status. You may be asked about your employment, income, and who's sponsoring your trip. Be honest and provide supporting documents if necessary. You should also be prepared to discuss your ties to India. The interviewer wants to be sure you intend to return home. This could involve questions about your job, family, property, or other commitments in India. Lastly, remember to stay calm and composed, even if you're feeling nervous. Your body language can speak volumes, so maintain eye contact and answer questions with confidence. And there you have it. You're now ready to apply for your Schengen visa. Remember, preparation is key, so take the time to review these tips and practice your responses. Good luck! So, are you ready to take on Europe? We've journeyed through the process of applying for a Schengen visa, from understanding the eligibility criteria to preparing the necessary documents. 
We've walked through filling out the application form, booking the visa appointment, and even attending the visa interview. Each step is crucial, and your attention to detail will make all the difference. It might seem daunting, but remember, it's just a process. Take it one step at a time, and before you know it, you'll be on a plane heading towards your European adventure. Now, it's time for you to start your application process. It's time to bring out that explorer in you, to experience the rich history, breathtaking landscapes, and diverse cultures that Europe has to offer. So pack your bags, your European adventure awaits. Remember, the world is yours to explore.